This is a pretty intense place. The house just felt like it just came alive. Not, not your typical spiritual haunting or spirit haunting. Yeah. Not your normal ghost. There was something beyond that. There's something very powerful here. I don't know if it's the combination of the natives and whatever, all the other murders and tragedy and everything else that's happened on this property. This is the first place that's made me this nervous. I felt a lot of anger. All right, we're doing this a little different. So you can't really see the house, but Eric, we're here now. What are your thoughts on it so far? We haven't even started. We just got the equipment and everything inside. We've got a long night ahead of us. Don't, don't want me here, I can tell you that. Whatever had his hand on your shoulder while we were sitting there listening to some stories. I kept seeing that shadow in the living room. Guys, so far, we haven't even started. Sorry about the shadow. We haven't started here at the Hensdale house, and things are already happening. This is going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully, we can make it all night. Yeah. Do not provoke. You no, not that provoke. we okay. I feel like I got someone's hand on my shoulder. You do, and I don't know that it's a friendly hand. There what is. Was that? Did you? Sorry. No, I didn't. I just saw a shadow over on that side, going across. It's not. Uh, it's not just the window. It's really tall. I'm. I'm think. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome to another adventure with Holly's Lore. Tonight, I don't know if you can see behind me, we are at the infamous Hinsdale house. We are here overnight. Um, lots of bad things have happened here, including an exorcism. Um, I will go into details. I will put a video up on all the history about the place that I could find. We are starting outside. We are going to walk up the trail a little bit, um, pay our respects to the natives who are massacred on this land. Then we're going to go warm up <laughs> and then go check out the pond. Um, it is a little breezy tonight, so we'll do what we can. I'm sorry about the wind noise. There are lots of deer around. Shine your spotlight down. I see if they're still down there. There they are. I don't know if you guys can see them. They are all down in there. There's a whole bunch. But, and it is flurrying. <laughs> December weather, gotta love it. At least it's not a blizzard. Um, <laughs> got lots to do tonight. And things have already started happening. Um, well, I guess let's just do it before we freeze. <clears throat> Sorry, my sinuses are acting crazy. I think we need to come back when it's warmer and have to do a campfire. What do you think? Huh? That would be nice. Yeah, I don't see any sitting out here this evening. <laughs> We for that. It probably wouldn't be so bad if the wind was blowing. I'm glad they have steps here now. Huh. Well, I guess you can call them steps. What well, makes it easier to get up the hill? Now. Supposedly, there's a burial ground for natives back in here. 
Braces on. Yeah. We haven't been out in the woods in a while. <laughs> we are on the lookout for what is it called? I'm not sure. I can't remember what she said it was. It's a tree where everybody leaves offering. <coughs> So, the giving tree. Giving tree, that's it. See? Oh, I think I see it. Look at that stick. I go right in the middle of the walkway. Oh, yeah, there's chairs up there. Somebody was slip sliding. Yeah. I have not seen Go down so I don't slip. Step over this way. Oh, yeah. This is the giving tree. <clears throat> I didn't even think to bring anything this time. I do have coins here. I know it's probably not what we typically give. And we don't smoke anymore, so we don't have tobacco. So, but it is silver and it's or copper. Silver and copper. Something they can use. Next time. Next time we'll bring something else. This is peace offering for allowing us on your land. What was the knock? And the squeak. I guess it's some sort of animal. We're also going to look out for some other little I'm trying to get up close to the tree. Maybe another time we can, when it's warmer, if we come back, we can go further up. Wind's blowing. Got to keep reminding myself that. Sorry, this place, guys, in, in my research and in talking to the person who let us in, who's investigated here a lot, that just... In the experiences we already had, I'm already on edge. <clears throat> wow, look at that. A bell. Yeah. And then that uh, homemade dream catcher there. That is really beautiful. Also, guys, remember, if you hear or see anything at any time during any of these videos, please put it in the comments below. <clears throat> Did you want to do an investigation up here? Or what are no. your feelings on it? No, these, these natives have been through enough. 
I feel we pay our respects, give our thanks for them allowing us here. And it's time for us to move on and investigate where we need to investigate. I figured that. Thank you again. Yes, thank you. And we do apologize we didn't have any tobacco to give this time. This is going to be interesting. Hold on. Somebody's here. Somebody's with us. It felt like somebody came up behind me. Who's with us? Whatever it was made me feel warm. Not cold. I felt heat behind me. I feel heat behind me. All right, move it. I can't. Feel a lot of sadness. With the wind blowing like that, I shouldn't be feeling heat flowing directly on my leg. Just get some jacket. That was Whoa. Tough, yeah, it didn't flood. That was a weird experience. I think we we made our offering it's time to move on. I think that's what they're telling us. There's ice on ice. the too. I didn't notice that coming off. <laughs> oh. Sorry guys if I'm breathing heavy. Cold is nothing with our sides. <laughs> and the different elevation that we are yeah. used to. Way up in the mountains. Do you want to warm up or just go ahead and go down by the pond? And then we'll be done outside. You want to walk with us? You're welcome to walk with us. Thank you. I hear running water. Oh, my hands are freezing. Go warm up? Yeah. All right, guys. We need to go warm up a minute. We'll be back to continue our investigation outside. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
I'm so glad you got that beautiful one. It, made, it has made a big difference. She activated the breast cancer research.
<gasps> Why did the whole portion shake? I'm sorry, but just broke your <laughs> Why this shit out of me? The whole floor shook. Where are you going in the basement? No, not. The only way we'll go in the basement is when we have somebody else with us. Trying to give her a heart attack, are you? How is there a homeless folks wine in front of the door? Can we go back outside? <laughs> it's going to be one of the mics. I don't know. I don't know, honey. We can do it, 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 right? I don't see us. Probably laughing at me, aren't they? <laughs> because if I was a ghost and I just scared the crap out of somebody, I'd be laughing. Because you know, that's the fun part of being a ghost, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, I would enjoy it. I can't blame them. I also enjoy your afterlife. But remember I was saying earlier how every once in a while I step in the kitchen and it feels like a wave? That was more than a wave though. That was a shake. Thank God you have that camera rolling. I don't know if you call fire action. But you call me jumping to look at you. I can't scorch coffee enough. I'm going to put The first couple of sips wasn't bad.
but you get your head off my shoulder. Are you trying to warn me of something? If you're trying to warn me of something bad, that my shoulder three times. Issues. I don't normally use this app. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's mapping Eric. You said it's beside you or behind you? I got this one.
that's pretty interesting. Like I said, I'm, yeah, I'm going to stone on the SLS on us, especially if there's something that kind of looks like it could be human. Like a doll. Yeah, it's just. You got that whole shelf back there for the dolls? Only one that. Every now and then you could pick up that one and then later on you pick up that one. That's all it did. That's pretty interesting. All those all sitting there in that one, it's the only one. So why is that? That's pretty interesting. Are you guys messing with me? Please leave him alone. Do you not want me here?
you can use this to speak with us. I'll get other stuff out later. But are you causing Eric to have a headache? Don't drink it if it's nasty. It was good. It cleared up and then... Can you tell us who you are? You okay? You okay now? Is your headache gone or you still got it? It's gone now. You want a bottle of water? Cobwebs from what? We've been in every room. Where did cobwebs come from? I don't know. So we walked into every room. There shouldn't have been new cobwebs. Not yet. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. Was that picture of the angel quoted before? At the top of the steps? Uh, I honestly don't remember it being there, but it's crooked. It was there, but. We didn't have the camera on when we got there.
All right, sorry guys, we are outside in the truck. Um, we were sitting having coffee, and Eric, um, you want to tell him what happened? Are you okay? I was sitting here, and started having trouble breathing. Then that cleared up. Then I had, it felt like a hand on my shoulder. And I told him to remove their hand from my shoulder. And I asked them if they were trying to warn me of something bad. And I told him to tap me on the shoulder. Three times. Three times. Well, I didn't feel nothing else after that. They, they didn't tap me. They didn't. And then I got a headache. I mean, it was instant. Three or four seconds. And it started to die down. And then my stomach started turning. I mean, it was twisting in knots. And it felt like I was I, I was going to throw up right then and there. So we had to rush out the door, and I, I just... Something does not want me in that house. And I sure as hell ain't going in alone. I ran back in to grab the camera before we came in here. But I left the door wide open when I did it, so if I hollered, he could hear me. Because sound barriers is an issue here. Um, we the were doors, told. The, do the doors, when you come out, <clears throat> they said make sure you bring the key because the door will lock behind you. Sometimes, not all the time. Not all the time. So we are not. I keep seeing a flash of light over there, like. Got the Bible in your pocket, right? You still got that, right? Well, Holly brought the Bible out to me as soon as she handed it to me. It was like a relief. Yeah, I carry my little Bible with us everywhere we go. The only thing I forgot to bring this time, and I, I'm kicking myself in the butt for it, I did not bring the holy water or holy oil with us. I keep seeing something moving in front of that window right there. Uh, isn't that the room she said was Mike's room? That little boy? I don't know. He, was it? Yeah, that's Mike's room. I don't remember offhand of the whole story. I, mean, I see a flash of light back there, like a camera flash. It might be a camera because they do have cameras around they, they inside have, and they have them outside too. They have night vision cameras. They're not going to flash. Unless there's trail cams. Don't they flash? No, not if they're on infrared mode. Yeah, we've been to some bad places, guys. I've had some bad feelings. I'm sorry, this is starting to beat the Pokemoke. I have never... That was the scariest place. ...never had anything affect me like this. This is like something's trying to hurt me. Well, I, well when I went in there, I might have upset them. Because I fussed at them. I said, why are you messing with Eric? Leave we him alone. We didn't come here to provoke anybody. We 
when you come We here haven't too. provoked anything yet. We've we've been nothing but respectful and nice, doing what everybody else that comes here does. At, we, at this point, I, I'm, I'm scared. Or, I'm not scared per se, but I have a very bad feeling. I think what they're trying to do. And it's like anywhere else, you take out the strongest. Sorry, I'm shaking, the truck's shaking. It's a big old diesel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I apologize for the noise, guys. It's just 30 degrees outside. We've got to get a little bit of heat going. Shut this down for a little while and collect ourselves and figure out what we're doing. Yeah. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Innocent. Innocent. You're innocent? What are you innocent of? Yeah, I'm not sitting on that couch. Sit here. That's the couch that they said this is where the exorcism took place. Let me know if you're okay. Flies are coming out of that wall too around that receptacle. Sorry guys, everything worked fine in the kitchen when we tested it. Like the house is alive. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you tell us who was messing with Eric or who made him sick? No. A little bit in. How are you feeling now? Gotta go. Gotta go. Why? You feeling sick again? Yeah. I'm not leaving you in here alone. Okay, somebody's playing games with me now. Because they know they can affect you. <gasps> Get out. Get out.